anode. An anode is an electrode through which the conventional current enters into a polarized electrical device. This contrasts with a cathode, an electrode through which conventional current leaves an electrical device. A common mnemonic is acid for anode current into device. The direction of conventional current, the flow of positive charges, in a circuit is opposite to the direction of electron flow, so, negatively charged, electrons flow out the anode into the outside circuit. In a galvanic cell, the anode is the electrode at which the oxidation reaction occurs. An anode is also the wire or plate having excess positive charge. Consequently, anions will tend to move towards the anode. The terms anode and cathode are not defined by the voltage polarity of electrodes but the direction of current through the electrode. An anode is an electrode through which conventional current, positive charge, flows into the device from the external circuit, while a cathode is an electrode through which conventional current flows out of the device. If the current through the electrodes reverses direction, as occurs for example in a rechargeable battery when it is being charged, the naming of the electrodes as anode and cathode is reversed. Conventional current depends not only on the direction the charge carriers move, but also the carrier's electric charge. The currents outside the device are usually carried by electrons in a metal conductor. Since electrons have a negative charge, the direction of electron flow is opposite to the direction of conventional current. Consequently, electrons leave the device through the anode and enter the device through the cathode. The definition of anode and cathode is slightly different for electrical devices such as diodes and vacuum tubes where the electrode naming is fixed and does not depend on the actual charge flow, current. These devices usually allow substantial current flow in one direction but negligible current in the other direction. Therefore the electrodes are named based on the direction of this forward current. In a diode the anode is the terminal through which current enters and the cathode is the terminal through which current leaves, when the diode is forward biased. The names of the electrodes do not change in cases where reverse a current flows through the device. Similarly, in a vacuum tube only one electrode can emit electrons into the evacuated tube due to being heated by a filament, so electrons can only enter the device from the external circuit through the heated electrode. Therefore this electrode is permanently named the cathode, and the electrode through which the electrons exit the tube is named the anode. The polarity of voltage on an anode with respect to an associated cathode varies depending on the device type and on its operating mode. In the following examples, the anode is negative in a device that provides power, and positive in a device that consumes power. In a discharging battery or galvanic cell, diagram at right, the anode is the negative terminal because it is where conventional current flows into the device, i.e. the battery cell. This inward current is carried externally by electrons moving outwards, negative charge flowing in one direction being electrically equivalent to a positive charge flowing in the opposite direction. In a recharging battery, or an electrolytic cell, the anode is the positive terminal, which receives current from an external generator. The current through a recharging battery is opposite to the direction of current during discharge, in other words, the electrode which was the cathode during battery discharge becomes the anode while the battery is recharging. In a diode, the anode is the positive terminal at the tail of the arrow symbol, flat side of the triangle, where current flows into the device. Note electrode naming for diodes is always based on the direction of the forward current, that of the arrow, in which the current flows most easily, even for types such as zener diodes or solar cells where the current of interest is the reverse current. In a cathode ray tube, the anode is the positive terminal where electrons flow out of the device, i.e., where positive electric current flows in. The word was coined in 1834 from the Greek new omicron delta omicron sigma, anodus, ascent, by William Hewell, who had been consulted by Michael Faraday over some new names needed to complete a paper on the recently discovered process of electrolysis. In that paper Faraday explained that when an electrolytic cell is oriented so that electric current traverses the decomposing body, electrolyte, in a direction from east to west, or, which will strengthen this help to the memory, that in which the sun appears to move, the anode is where the current enters the electrolyte, on the east side, on you upwards, otis away, the way which the sun rises. The use of east to mean the interaction, actually an east sunrise up, may appear contrived. Previously, as related in the first reference cited above, Faraday had used the more straightforward term isode, the doorway where the current enters. His motivation for changing it to something meaning the east electrode, 
other candidates had been estowed, or Yodin Anatolod, was to make it immune to a possible later change in the direction convention for current, whose exact nature was not known at the time. The reference he used to this effect was the Earth's magnetic field direction, which at that time was believed to be invariant. He fundamentally defined his arbitrary orientation for the cell as being that in which the internal current would run parallel to and in the same direction as a hypothetical magnetizing current loop around the local line of latitude which would induce a magnetic dipole field oriented like the Earth's. This made the internal current east to west as previously mentioned, but in the event of a later convention change it would have become west to east, so that the east electrode would not have been the way in anymore. Therefore, isode would have become inappropriate whereas anode meaning east electrode would have remained correct with respect to the unchanged direction of the actual phenomenon underlying the current, then unknown but, he thought, unambiguously defined by the magnetic reference. In retrospect the name change was unfortunate, not only because the Greek roots alone do not reveal the anode's function anymore, but more importantly because as we now know, the Earth's magnetic field direction on which the anode term is based is subject to reversals whereas the current direction convention on which the isode term was based has no reason to change in the future. Since the later discovery of the electron, an easier to remember and more durably correct technically although historically false, etymology has been suggested anode, from the Greek anodus, way up, the way, up, out of the cell, or other device, for electrons. In electrochemistry, the anode is where oxidation occurs and is the positive polarity contact in an electrolytic cell. At the anode, anions, negative ions, are forced by the electrical potential to react chemically and give off electrons, oxidation, which then flow up an entothy driving circuit. Mnemonics, Leo Red Cat, loss of electrons is oxidation, reduction occurs at the cathode, or an ox red cat, anode oxidation, reduction cathode, or oil rig, oxidation is loss. Reduction is gain of electrons, or Roman Catholic and Orthodox, reduction, cathode, anode, oxidation, or Leo the Lion says gare, losing electrons is oxidation, gaining electrons is reduction. This process is widely used in metals refining. For example, in copper refining, copper anodes, an intermediate product from the furnaces, are electrolyzed in an appropriate solution, such as sulfuric acid, to yield high purity. 99.99% cathodes. Copper cathodes produced using this method are also described as electrolytic copper. In a battery or galvanic cell, the anode is the negative electrode from which electrons flow out towards the external part of the circuit. Internally, the positively charged cations are flowing away from the anode, even though it is negative and therefore would be expected to attract them. This is due to electrode potential relative to the electrolyte solution being different for the anode and cathode metal slash electrolyte systems, but, external to the cell in the circuit, electrons are being pushed out through the negative contact and thus through the circuit by the voltage potential as would be expected. Note, in a galvanic cell, contrary to what occurs in an electrolytic cell, no anions flow to the anode, the internal current being entirely accounted for by the cations flowing away from it, cf drawing. In the United States, many battery manufacturers regard the positive electrode as the anode, particularly in their technical literature. Though technically incorrect, it does resolve the problem of which electrode is the anode in a secondary, or rechargeable, cell. Using the traditional definition, the anode switches ends between charge and discharge cycles. In electronic vacuum devices such as a cathode ray tube, the anode is the positively charged electron collector. In a tube, the anode is a charged positive plat that collects the electrons emitted by the cathode through electric attraction. It also accelerates the flow of these electrons. In a semiconductor diode, the anode is the p-dope layer which initially supplies holes to the junction. In the junction region, the holes supplied by the anode combine with the electrons supplied from the n-doped region, creating a depleted zone. As the p-dope layer supplies holes to the depleted region, Negative dopant ions are left behind in the p-doped layer, p for positive charge carrier ions. This creates a base negative charge on the anode. Dot when a positive voltage is applied to anode of the diode from the circuit, more holes are able to be transferred to the depleted region, and this causes the diode to become conductive, allowing current to flow through the circuit. The terms anode and cathode should not be applied to a zener diode, since it allows flow in either direction, depending on the polarity of the applied potential i.e. voltage. In cathodic protection, 
a metal anode that is more reactive to the corrosive environment of the system to be protected is electrically linked to the protected system, and partially corrodes or dissolves, which protects the metal of the system it is connected to. As an example, an iron or steel ship's hull may be protected via zinc sacrificial anode, which will dissolve into the seawater and prevent the hull from being corroded. Sacrificial anodes are particularly needed for systems where a static charge is generated by the action of flowing liquids, such as pipelines and watercraft. Sacrificial anodes are also generally used in tank-type water heaters. In 1824 to reduce the impact of this destructive electrolytic action on ships' hulls, their fastenings and underwater equipment, the scientist engineer Sir Humphrey Davy, developed the first and still most widely used marine electrolysis protection system. Davy installed sacrificial anodes made from a more electrically reactive less noble, metal attached to the vessel hull and electrically connected to form a cathodic protection circuit. A less obvious example of this type of protection is the process of galvanizing iron. This process coats iron structures, such as fencing, with a coating of zinc metal. As long as the zinc remains intact, the iron is protected from the effects of corrosion. Inevitably, the zinc coating becomes breached, either by cracking or physical damage. Once this occurs, corrosive elements act as an electrolyte and the zinc-slash-iron combination is electrodes. The resultant current ensures that the zinc coating is sacrificed but that the base iron does not corrode. Such a coating can protect an iron structure for a few decades, but once the protecting coating is consumed, the iron rapidly corrodes. If, conversely, tin is used to coat steel, when a breach of the coating occurs it actually accelerates oxidation of the iron. The opposite of an anode is a cathode. When the current through the device is reversed, the electrode switch functions, so anode becomes cathode, while cathode becomes anode, as long as the reversed current is applied, with the exception of diodes where electrode naming is always based on the forward current direction. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.